afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Brainy Boomer Lecture Series. We're so very happy that you've all joined us today. In 2007, the McGill University Research Center for Studies in Aging, or the MCSA's Education Committee, started the Brainy Boomer Lecture Series in, or, in order to suggest practical steps to both improve and maintain brain health, while to also promote healthy lifestyle choices amongst the most populous generation in history. The MCSA's Education Committee, which was founded in 1996, has three main objectives. Identifying education needs of healthcare providers, seniors, caregivers, and the public, and developing responses to meet some of those needs. To enhance the image of the aging process by addressing some myths and stereotypes about aging, and finally, the dissemination of research on aging. Today, our guest is part owner of GSC Athletics, which is a fitness studio located in LaSalle for people of all ages. Juliana Guerrero has been in the personal fitness industry for eight years and has extensive experience in developing and building training programs for all fitness levels and for people of all ages. Through her experience working in the personal fitness industry, Juliana has applied her vast knowledge of fitness to creating her own fitness programs. Before continuing, please note that by joining this online, you are joining this online session at your own risk and that MCSA takes no responsibility for anyone getting injured or having too much fun. By entering this website and taking part in the activities, you accept all risks that may be associated with it. If you do not agree with this disclaimer, please stop now and don't take part in this Zoom activity. Veuillez noter que vous rejoignez cette session en ligne à vos risques et périls. CMEV décline toute responsabilité en cas de blessure ou d'une surprise de plaisir. En accédant à ce site et en participant aux activités, vous acceptez les risques qui pourront être associés. Si vous n'êtes pas d'accord avec cet avertissement, arrêtez et ne participez pas en cette session de Zoom. We would also like to remind you to please mute your microphone on Zoom, and that if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to write them down in the chat box on Zoom. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, I present Juliana Guerrero with Strength and Core Training. So uh, we're gonna get started. If you have the, your chair, great. Um, a resistant band and some light dumbbells. If not, no worries. All the exercises that we'll be doing can be modified with just your own body weight. All right. So let's get started. We're going to start with a quick warm up like we always do, just to warm up that body, get that blood, that blood flowing, those muscles warmed up. All right. Fix this. All right. Okay, so we're going to get started. You're going to just go for a walking march with those feet, your hands moving. Up and down. If you want, you can go a little higher with those knees or a little lower. Fast, slow, whatever your body can handle. Just keep going through those marches. Ten more seconds. Good. For five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, we're going to go. Left hand side first, we're gonna punch to the side as you bring that leg out, and then alternate those arms to hand, those legs. So you're going out, bring it in, and then you're rotating to your other side. Left, right. All right, just like this. So as you extend that arm, that leg goes out with you. Let's go. You can go a little faster if you want, side to side. If not, just keep that slow pace. Really extend those arms and legs, keeping that core tight. There you go. Keep going for five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, we're going to come here. You're going to bring those hands up as you bring that foot out and then bring it in. Come up and in. Up and in. There you go. Bring that forward, that foot forward and up. Bring it up and down. 
So as those hands come up, that foot comes forward. There you go. Keep it going. Go work. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. All right, we're going to go for a little skip, just side to side. If you want, you can get a little jump with it. If not, just keep those toes grounded to the floor. Move your arms in circle motions and just pretend like you're holding a skipping rope and you're going through it. There you go. Good. Getting that heart rate up a bit. Good. We got five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, we're gonna bring those hands up. Lengthen that upper body. As those hands come down, we're gonna bring that knee up and then back down. We're gonna bring it up and down. There you go, up. So as that knee comes in, those arms are coming down with it and then you extend it out. Good, for five. Good. Four. Three. Two. One. And time. Good. Always remember keeping that core engaged. You're coming up. Bring it down with that knee and lengthen that body. Bring it down and up. There you go. That's three. Good. Four. We got it. Five. Go work. Keep it going. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Go work. All right. We're going to lengthen those arms to the side. You're going to just give me some rolls. Some arm rolls. You're going to bring them back. Bring them back. There you go. Good, for five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna bring them forward now. Big circles, keep that core engaged. There you go, five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, we're gonna come here. You're just gonna give me little quick feet on those toes, left to right, little quick feet. There you go. If you want, you can move those arms up and down. Good. Let's go for five, four, keep that core engaged. Three, two, one, and time. Good work. All right. Grab those hands, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And again, lengthen those arms, bring it up. And down. Last one, everybody. Come up. And down. All right. Grab some water, and we are going to get started. Our bodies are all warmed up, I'm sure. Chest proud, let's go. So come up and 
and press. There you go. And then back down, slowly and controlled. Come up, press. Good. And back down. Up, press. Good. Keeping that core engaged at all times. Keep it going. Good. We got five more. Up, control your movements, everybody. There you go. Four, up, good. Three, up. Great work, keep it going. We got two more. Up, and last one. We're gonna hammer curl it in, bring it up in that press, and release it down. All right, guys, watch me. We're gonna stay here, all right? I want your arms in that 90 degree angle. We're gonna just pulse it up and down, small pulses, keeping that core engaged, back straight, chest proud, just up and down, little small pulses. Perfect, 10, nine, you got it, eight, seven, engage that core, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Whew. Good work. All right, roll up those shoulders. We're gonna keep those weights in our hand. This time, we're gonna punch to the side and bring it in. Punch, rotate that foot so you're coming to your right hand side and bring it back into that chest. Pivot on that foot and bring it in. Always remember, engage that core, keep it tight. Let's go for 10. One, bring it in. Two, bring it in. There you go. Three, good, you got it. Four, really intensity in that punch. Five, six, you got it, keep it going. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work. Other foot, guys, same thing. Other arm, other leg. We're pivoting when we punch out, all right? Pivot and keeping that core tight. Let's go for 10. Right hand side. One, bring it back. Two, bring it back. You got it, keep it going. Three, good. Four, five, six. Go work, keep it, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good work, all right. We're gonna place those weights down to the side of our hips. We're gonna lengthen that whole body. We're gonna focus a little more on that core. We're gonna shift our weight, left hand side, and bring it up. We're gonna shift. Bring it a little down, keeping that core engaged, and bring it up. All right, we're gonna start with that left side first. You go as low as you can go. I don't want any aches or pains when you're doing it. So you go at your own pace. You can go a little longer, or you can come right here and bring it back up. Right here, and bring it up. All right, let's go for 10. Left hand side first. One, and up. Two, and up, three, good work, four, five, squeezing that core, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, time, good work. When you're coming up, when you're coming down and you're coming up, you can exhale on your breath. So you come down, exhale. All right, breathe in as you come down and then exhale as you come out. All right, ready? Let's go, bring it in. Good, that's three. Go work, keep it going. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and 
10. All right, we're gonna go for a bit of, just a bit of cardio. We're gonna keep our weights here, like our warm up. You're just gonna give me quick little taps on those toes. Let's go. There you go. Control that breathing, keeping that weight here. Your elbows to your sides. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and time. Great work, guys. All right, we're gonna drop those weights. You're gonna grab a quick sip of water. Catch your breath. We're all doing good. Thumbs up. Great work, guys. Keep it up. <laughs> All right. Woo. I'm a little sweaty. All right, let's do this. Next circuit. All right. You're going to grab that band if you have it. If not, no worries. I'm going to show you without. All right. We're going to focus a bit on that core. You're going to come here. So your chest straight, your chest straight, back, stay straight as well. Align those shoulders with your hips. You're going to grab that band and you're going to just put some resistance in it. All right. As you do that, you're going to come to the side with that resistance and you're gonna bring it up. You're gonna come down, slowly controlled, keeping that core tight to the side and bring it back up. All right, so it should look like this when I'm doing it in front of you guys. You're gonna come here, bring it down, slow to your side, keeping that core tight and you're coming up to your left hand side. All right, if you don't have that bad, just keep your arms right here you're coming down and up, keeping that core engaged. All right, let's get started, everybody. We're gonna start with that right hand side first, going for 10. All right, so band stays around your wrists, keeping that resistance in that band. Let's go, bring it down, slow and control, and shoot it up. There you go, hold it for a second, slowly bringing it down to your side and release it up. There you go, keep it going. And release up, good. Great work, good. Five, keep, come down slow, rotate it. Good, we're gonna come up for six, keeping that core engaged. For seven, breathe, good, we got eight, nine, good work everybody, keep it going, it should burn just a bit, bring it up and come down slowly rotating, good job, Woo. let's shake it out a bit. All right, we're gonna go other side now. Same thing, that band stays around that wrist. You're coming here. We're gonna bring it down to our left-hand side and then we're gonna shoot it up to our right. All right, ready? 10 this side, let's go. Bring it to the front. You're gonna slowly bring it down and come up. Good. Slowly bring it down and come up. You got it. Up, that's four. Bring it down, slow. Five. Good, keep it going. Six. Slow and steady. Keeping that core engaged. Seven. Woo. Last three. Eight, nine, go work, last one, bring it up, engage that core and slowly bring it down. Oh, oh all right, shake out those shoulders. All right, we're gonna come here. 
you're gonna grab those weights. All right. We're gonna come to our side. We're gonna start with that right hand side first. We're gonna go into a, so a little side lunge. We're gonna come here and bring it up as we close into those legs. All right, so a little side lunge right here. So that left leg stays straight at all times. Your right leg, you're gonna give a little bend. And then as you come up, you're gonna come up into a shoulder press and bring it back down to that chest to reset into that lunge. All right, we're gonna go 10 each side. Ready? Keeping that core engaged, back straight all times. Let's go. We're gonna come to that side lunge and then shoot it up as you close in those legs. There you go. Come down into that side lunge and back up into that press. You got it, keep it going guys. And up. That's three. Good. And come up. Four. Good work. Five. Six. Keep it going. You're doing great. Seven. Eight, we got two more. Nine, last one. And 10, good work guys. All right, other leg, same concept. Back stay straight, chest proud. We're gonna go into that side lunge. And then as you bring those legs in, we're shooting it up into that shoulder press. All right, and then we bring it back down to that chest to reset that lunge. All right, right away, let's go. Lunge it, and then bring it up. Good. Come down into that lunge, and bring it up. That's two. Lunge, and bring it up. Three. Come down, and up. Four. Good job, guys, you got it. Down, up, five, six, seven, eight, two more, one, last one, lunge it, Come up and press. Good work, guys. Amazing job. All right. We're going to keep those weights in our hands. We're going to come here. So watch me first. This, your right leg is going to extend back as you punch forward. And then you're going to bring it in all together. Keeping that core tight. Back straight as always. You're going to bring that leg back as that arm comes forward. And then you're going to bring it in all together. Alrighty? We're going to start with that right to left arm. So it should look like this. Punch, bring it in. Punch, bring it in. All right? Keeping that core engaged. Let's go. One, bring it in. Two, bring it in. Three, good. Four, five, six. You got it. Seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Good work. All right, other leg, other arm. Same thing. Punch forward, bring that leg back, and then you bring it in together. All right, that other arm, that left arm that's not moving stays here to your chest. All right, let's do this. Out for one, two, Three, you got it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great work. All right, let's drop those weights. Whew. We're going to just shake it all out. All right, we're going to come here. 
You're gonna go one. You're gonna go one, two, one, two. All right, a little cardio. I want you to str strengthen those arms as you come back and then bring them forward as you go for your other one. All right, so two and two. Let's go. One and two. One and two. Really squeeze those palms together. One and two. Keeping that core engaged, two. There you go. You got it. One and two. One and two. Good. For five. For four. For three. For two. Last one. And time. Great work, guys. All right. Let's just take those hands, catch our breath, come up. Breathe in, and then as, as we bring those hands down, and breathe out. Come up, inhale, and breathe out. All right, let's take a sip of water, and we're gonna continue our workout. Oh my God, it's already two. Time goes by when we're having fun, right? We're all good? <laughs> All right. Whew. Next circuit. You're going to grab your weights. All right. We're going to focus a little more on the core this time. Your arms almost to your sides, and you're holding those weights 90 degrees with those arms. Watch me first. We're going to come up with that knee. So as that knee comes up, you're releasing those arms, and then you're bringing it back into that 90 degree angle. You're gonna come up, release, and bring it back down. All right, keeping that core engaged, find that balance. So here, 90 degrees, bring that knee up as we extend, and bring it back. Come up as we extend, and bring it back. All right, keeping that core engaged, back stay straight. We're gonna go for 10 each side. Let's go. We're gonna bring it up and down. Good, that's one. Up and down, that's two. Good, that's three. Four. Up. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. All right, can we hold it up for five seconds? Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good work. All right, when you hold it up, always remember try to look at stuff, something, keeping that core engaged, and control your breathing. You bring it in and bring it up all right let's go with the other leg now same thing we're gonna have our hands 90 degrees we're gonna come up release those arms and you're gonna bring it back down all right let's go for 10. one and bring it up two good three good four good five you got it. Six and up. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. And ten. All right, drop that foot. Can you give it, hold it for five seconds? Bring it up for five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good work. All right. We're gonna keep those weights in our hands. Watch me first. We're gonna come up in a press. As you press it up, you're gonna bring that leg with you. So same arm to same leg. We're coming up and down, up and down, all right? Always remember, keep that core engaged. Back stay straight, chest proud. We're going 10 each side like we've been doing. Come up and down. 
up and down. Go work. That's two. Good. Three and down. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Can we hold it here for five? Four. Engage that core. Three, two, one. And release it. Go work. All right. Let's shake it out. Other side. Same thing. We're coming up and down. Up and down for ten. All right. Ready? Let's go. One and down. Two. Good. Three. You got it. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Can we hold it up for five? Four. Three. Two. One. And time. Great work. All right. We're going to drop those weights. If you have your band, grab your band. All right, we're going to put it around our wrist. And we're going to keep that core engaged. And we're just going to pull some resistance in that band. All right, so I just want a bit of resistance. So keeping those arms straight as possible, chest proud. All right, and just hold that resistance here. We're gonna start with that for five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna give me some pulses, just pulse, just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. If you feel a burning sensation in your shoulders, it's completely normal. All right? We're going to come here. You're going to hold that band, give a little resistance, and you're going to bring that knee up and come back down. Bring it up and come back down with that resistance, all right? Start with the right hand foot, the right foot first. We're coming up and down. Up and down. Good. Perfect. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, you got it, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Great work. All right, let's shake it out a bit. Whew. Just bring it side to side. We're going to go other foot. All right, so if you don't have your band, you're just coming here. You're coming down and up, down and up. All right, let's go for ten. Left side now. Right away. Let's go. One and down. Two and down. Three and down. Four. Good. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Can you test your strength and just hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, and time. Great work, guys. All right, you're gonna drop the bed. We're gonna grab our chair, if you have. It's more just for security. And you're gonna grab your weights in your hands. All right? So, we're gonna just go for some squats. What we're doing, you're gonna have your leg hat, your, your legs width apart, all right? And you're gonna take those weights and you're gonna put them on your shoulder, just like this. You're just gonna hold it here, all right? So you're gonna give a little bend in those knees as you come down in that squat, and you're gonna come back up. If it feels better, you can come down on that chair, sit down, and then bring it back up slowly, all right? So make sure that chair is right under your tush. You're going to come down. You can sit. And then you can bring it up slowly. All right? 
legs width apart, toes pointed forward, weights on your shoulders if you'd like, or you just drop the weight and do your own body weight. We're gonna come down in that squat, and then you're gonna bring it back up. Perfect, good. Bring it down and bring it up. You got it, that's two. Down and up, three. Come down, four. Good work, keep it going for five. Six, good, seven, you got it, eight, good, nine, and last one, and time. All right, we're gonna hold it here. You're gonna grab those weights. We're gonna go up in a press. One, and bring it down. Two, and bring it down. Three, four, five, six, keep it going, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great work, everybody. All right, let's grab some water. We've got one small little circuit left to do, and then we're gonna take a nice stretch, and we're done for today. We're all good? Pulling a little bit of a sweat. I know I am. <laughs> all right, let's do this. So, you're gonna grab your weights. All right. We're gonna open up. We're gonna come forward punch to side leg, bring it in. Forward, bring it in. All right, we're going 10 with this side, and then we're gonna switch over and do 10 with that side. All right, so let's start with our right leg to left arm, punch it forward, bring it in. Punch it forward, bring it in. All right, let's go. One, bring it back. Two, back. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Go work. Other side. Same thing. Back straight. Come out and in. Out and in. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. All right, we're staying here with our weights. Same concept. We're shooting it up and bringing it in. Bring it up, bring it in. Same movement with that leg, just different movement with that arm. Go up, bring it in. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Go work. Other side. We're going up and down. Up and down. Two. There you go. Three. You got it. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10, great work. All right, you're going to take that band, if you have it, and you're gonna just put it right, right in the middle of your calves. So not where your ankle is, not where your knees are, but just right in the middle between your ankles and your knees, all right? If you have the band, if not, no worries, I'll show you how to do it without. All right, we've done these in previous workouts. Just a little different. What we're doing is we're gonna go leg raises and then you're gonna bring it in. But we're gonna grab that chair for security. So you're gonna hold it onto one side. So your left hand comes here. You're gonna just bring it up and then bring it back down. You can take those dumbbells 
have them in your right hand side. You're gonna keep them to your leg. You're gonna come up and down. A little bend in that left leg, come up and bring it down. Up and bring it down. Good, if you don't have that band, you're just bringing that leg up and down. Bring it up and down, good work. Keeping that core engaged, back straight at all times. That's four, up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Can we hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, and time, great work. All right, we're gonna go to the left, the other side now. Left leg, hand on the chair for that security. You're gonna give a little bend in that right knee. You're gonna come up with that leg and bring it down slowly. Come up, bring it down slowly. All right, keeping that core engaged, back stay straight. Let's go for one and down, two and down. Three, good, four, you got it, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Can we hold it up for five, four, three, two, one, and release it. Great work. All right. We're gonna just take off that band. And we're gonna stay here with those weights. All right, so your arms are gonna stay in 90 degree angle. What you're doing is you're gonna open it up to the side and bring it back in. You're gonna open and bring it back in, keeping that Chest proud, that back stays straight at all time. Align with those hips, open it up, squeeze, engage that core, and bring it in. All right, let's go for one, and bring it in. Two, and bring it in. Three, four, good, five, you got it, six, Good, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's go for five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Great work, all right. You're gonna keep those weights in your hand. All right. Oh. All right, I don't, I don't think I did anything. All right, we're gonna come here. You're gonna walk it for two and then walk it for two. You're gonna move those legs. As you move those legs, you're gonna come out, bring it in. Come out, bring it in. All right, so two and two, one, and then again, that's how it should look. All right, keeping that core engaged and that back straight. So you're coming out and in, out and in. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can go a little faster, just like this, all right? Or you go at your own pace. Come out and in, come out, come in. Let's go, right away. Let's go, out and in, out and in. There you go. You can go a little faster if you'd like, all at your own pace, like this if you'd like. There you go, let's go. Good, keep it going. You got it. Keeping that core engaged as you bring those dumbbells into your chest. Good work. For five, for four, for three, two, one, and time, great work. All right, last exercise. 
Then we're going to take a nice stretch. All right, we're going to start with the left, the right leg first. We're going to open up in a little squat, come down and bring it back up. Open up in that squat and bring it down. All right, ready? Let's go. You're going to open up, squat it down just a bit and bring it back up. Squat it down and bring it up. There you go. Squat it down and bring it up. If it gets too heavy, drop the weights. Come down and up. Always lengthen that back, keeping it straight and up. Good. We got four and up. Three, two, and up. One, and up. Go work. Other leg. Same thing. We're coming to the side. Bring it up. To the side. Bring it up. All right. Let's go. One, up. Two, up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great work. All right, guys. Great work. You can drop your weights. We are done for today. Let's just take our hands before we grab a sip of water. Bring them up. Inhale. And then as you release those arms, breathe out. Let's go again. And exhale. All right, let's grab a sip of water quickly. And then we're gonna take a nice stretch. Stretch out that body. So we're not too sore tomorrow. All right, we're all good. Whew. All right, everybody. Let's take three deep breaths. So we're gonna come down. Inhale and exhale. And again. One last time. All right, we're going to bring those hands in the middle. We're going to bring that arm across that chest and just bring it in here for three, two, one. We're going to bring that arm in the back. You're going to keep that chin up and just hover that hand over that elbow and just press it down just a bit to feel that stretch. Always remember keeping that chin forward. Three, two, one. Let's switch sides. Come across, hold it to your chest. Feel that stretch right here in that shoulder blade, in that bicep. For three, two, one. One, we're gonna come back, same thing. Chin stays straight, hover that hand over your elbow and just hold it here for three, two, one. All right, we're gonna release. We're gonna take those hands, interlock them in the back, just like this, and open up that chest. Breathe in and breathe out. Once again. And up. All right, I'm gonna slowly release those hands. We're gonna come up, reach for the ceiling, interlock those palms together and face those palms to the ceiling and lengthen that upper body and feel that stretch. If you want, you can land on those tippy toes for three, two, one, and slowly come down to those heels, releasing those arms. All right, we're gonna come down. We're gonna just bring those elbows to your knees if you can, and just feel that stretch in your inner thighs. Right here, good. Great work, for three, two, one. All right, we're gonna lengthen those legs. We're gonna come down, just let those arms hang. All right, you can sway them left, sway them right. 
Whew. All right, just do a little circle with them. And then we're gonna slowly roll up, making sure our head comes up last. We're gonna give me some shoulder rolls and back for two, three, four, and five. We're gonna bring them forward now. One, two, three, four, and five. Great work. All right, let's take those hands, bring them out. Reach like you're reaching for a wall just in front of you. We're gonna bring them up. All right, everybody, just give me three deep breaths. Bring it in. And exhale. And again. One last time. All right, great work today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's grab the chair. Whew. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions for Juliana? I'm, I'm sure you guys can all see the screen. Um, this is basically through our gym, but it's going to be all virtual. So like what we're doing today, um, it's gonna be all through Zoom. If anyone is interested, you can send us an email. Our email's right there, info at gscathletics.ca with any of your questions and I'll be happy to answer them all. So these are basically workouts every Monday and Friday from 1.30 to 2.30 with our, with our gym. And it's all through Zoom. So like I said, if you have any questions, just send us an email and I'll be happy to answer any of them. Perfect, thank you. No problem. Uh, what bands do you, um, so my weights I got from Amazon. I'm not quite sure what Amazon has left since quarantine. Everyone seems to be buying weights online. <laughs> so you would just have to check it out. Um, there's, they're just no name brand. I had bought them on Amazon. I have twos and threes and then my bands, um, the same thing. I mean, I can send you Caitlin, uh, a list of like the name brands and you can send it out. Okay, perfect. I can't. You can, uh... Someone's talking, but I can't hear. Yeah, I'll unmute them. I was saying that you can purchase the weights on tar uh, through Target. Oh. Uh, they have. Oh, okay, great. Another site. And they're very reasonable. Oh, good. <laughs> That's important. I think, were, I think it was about $5. Um, they weren't very much. No, they're not. The more the pound, the, the cheaper they are. Yeah. <laughs> they're also available at Canadian Tire. Oh, there you go, too. That's true. Canadian Tire. Um, I believe Walmart as well. You just have to check online or you can use cans, like cans of, um, cans of fruit, cans of corn. Uh, pop, can I bottles, ask another, bottles. can I ask another question? It's Beth speaking. Okay. Um, do you recommend any of these exercises that you've told us about or you've described and done with us for say before you go out for a brisk walk or when you come back? So if you're going for a walk, I suggest that you, you go for your walk and then you can come back. Um, I don't suggest doing the full 45 minutes of the workout, 45 no, but minutes. two or three. I would, uh, I would definitely, yeah, take your walk and then I would definitely either do um, like a good 10, depending on your walk. So if you're taking like a, let's say a half hour, 20 minute walk, I would do about 10 to 15. Of any of these exercises? Yeah, yeah okay. 
because there's not so much cardio in them and, and uh, other than the cardio movement that we've done. Yeah. Um, but the rest are more strength, core, balance, and, uh, and all of that. So you can definitely do that after a walk because your body's already warmed up, your muscles are warmed up. And uh, it was, yeah. Thank you. No problem. Are there any other questions? Oh. All right, so thank you, Juliana, for the fantastic fitness event. Uh, the members of the MCSA Education Committee would like to thank you and everybody who signed in today. Uh, our next fitness event with Juliana is going to be next Thursday, August 6th. Uh, don't forget to check out the uh, link for our Eventbrite page that's down in the chat box because we've added uh, our, our dates for August to do the workout to Juliana. Uh, we've also added a survey in the chat box because we'd love to hear some feedback. Um, anything you'd like to tell us about today's event or any other event that you've gone to. Um, and yeah, so thank you so much for uh, signing into the Brainy Boomer Lecture Series and we hope to see you uh, next week again. Thanks guys, have a good day. Thank you everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day.